hello guys and uh, welcome to a new video this time we are discussing the web post uh, about the new patch that is coming out and that features several nerfs and uh, changes to the game and i wanted to talk about it because it's a pretty big uh, patch note so uh, let's see the changes and how they will impact the game in my opinion so the first uh, uh, faction they are going to touch is uh, Night Lords. Uh, they are overperforming a little bit, especially with Savatar, like he is really strong. Um, other uh, warlords, I don't see them too much. I think Curse is okay, uh, if not even a little bit weak. And Ophion and Skrivok are almost never picked because they suck. Um, but Savatar, yeah, he's really good, really aggressive, uh, can uh, trade al uh, like upwards a lot of times compared to other warlords. And they're going to touch some of the cards that make it really good. Like the first card they are going to touch is uh, uh, Urmor Veterans. Uh, this now gives uh, Adhesion Troops uh, plus one plus so. Um, while uh, it's still good, not buffing your Warlord actually is kind of impactful and maybe this will uh, no longer be played in, uh, in Night Lord's uh, uh, list on uh, like High Terra. Um, I don't know if this is a good change or a bad change, but like this makes... Uh, where is the card? Um, the rhino uh, pa, 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 pa. It makes this card so bad like the, the other one cost two energy less doesn't have the active ability but this doesn't matter has two less health and has terror so it can be buffed and uh, can be put into stealth and buffed with uh, lords of murder uh, so this uh, at least has some case uh, to be used uh, compared to the Urmar Veterans. Uh, I still think Urmar Veterans is stronger than the other card, but uh, um, yeah, maybe they're going to shift from this to something else. Uh, then we have uh, Haunted Dreams, which is this one, the vehicle. Uh, now uh, it deals to damage and uh, if the target survives gives minus to minus to for this turn i quite like the change i think uh, he's still good like even if it doesn't have the minus to minus so i think uh, it's still good enough to be played uh, mainly because the rally to damage is really strong even if i think that this card is stronger um the six drop um and everybody plays that, so the more Sumra. Uh, it's, uh, I qu I'm quite surprised they didn't touch this, but they touched the five energy guy. Um, yeah, Haunted Dreams, I still think it's going to be played. Um, then uh, another card that they are going to touch is Preto Kevark. Uh, this card is really good. Um, now it's a 5-5. Five five. Uh, same passive, same ambush. Um, I don't know, like going from 7 to 6 with the terror is kind of a big deal because uh, then you are not going to get the free trade into like uh, Vo uh, the um, big Vorax and uh, uh, the Tanatar guy and also the um, uh, White Scars uh, 6 drop. Um, so. It's kind of a shame because I like the card, like I think it's really cool, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if they need to touch this, uh, I th maybe, yeah, maybe it's not that big of a nerf, but I think it's kind of impactful, uh, but they had, they don't have that many, like the only six drops they have uh, are Mos Hamra, Contacar Dissident and Pretor Kervak, worth playing, I mean, um, you can also play the Panoply is slaughter, but uh, yeah, I don't see that card played a lot. I don't think it's really good. Um, and then uh, uh, the big uh, uh, nerf is coming from Lords of Murder, 
which has the cost increased from, from two to three. Uh, this is very impactful. Like uh, this card is really strong, like uh, it shouldn't be that good for two energy, uh, but moving it from two energy from uh, to three energy, I think it's a big nerf. And this will, uh, I, I think, be slotted out from uh, uh, some lists or maybe cut one copy. Um, and then uh, uh, the last card, uh, they are going to touch is uh, the price of defiance, the removal. Um, where is it? This. Uh, that gives minus one, minus so until the next turn. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Uh, nothing crazy. Mm, I think I still think you want to copy of this uh, anyway. So uh, not the big of a deal. Like the stuff. The the, the thing is that they are kind of. Uh, uh, managing uh, how much uh, they trade uh, upwards against other warlords um, the problem is that uh, it impacts everyone like especially uh, but these two don't even matter but curse is going to be hurt by those changes too and like he doesn't need that um, uh, yeah especially from the um, the the what is the the Lord of Murder and I think also the uh, Urmor Veterans is a pretty big nerf for uh, for Curse because uh, he doesn't have the buffing attack that Savatar has to keep the board in check. Um, then we have uh, nerfs of White Scars and I say finally because I hate Jagatai Khan so much. Um, they change a little bit of stuff and I don't know if it's like it's surely enough to uh, manage uh, can a little bit better but uh, like I don't know some things I, I think are a little bit, a little bit too much like uh, so the first nerf is Golden Star Rhino uh, this card is good uh, now he has two instead of three um, it's still going to be to be played. It's a front line. Some healing is not bad. Sometimes you get back uh, troops in your hand to get more value, um, or to proc a second time a powerful rally effect. Um, yeah, I think this is a okay nerf, not that big of a deal. Um, then we have three big nerfs. One is Targutai Sacrifice, going to five energy from five energy to six energy. Uh, I remember this card, maybe I remember wrong, but I think when I started playing this card was 6 energy and then it got back to 5 and then it got back to 6. Uh, at 6 energy I don't think it's that good. Uh, maybe you can cut one and play some other mass removal instead. Um, then we have uh, the nerf to White Tiger Dao, going to 5 energy to 6 energy. This is maybe the biggest nerf out of them. Uh, it really limits the amount of pressure that Khan can put. Um, and yeah, I don't know, like, uh, maybe, I don't know if this was uh, necessary. Like, I, I mean, it's a really good card, don't get me wrong, but uh, um, I don't know, maybe, I, I think it's a little bit too much. Like, uh, of course you can't play Jagatai Khan without uh, White Tiger Dao. Uh, because it's the card that defines the gym boss can, uh, but uh, six energy is uh, really a lot. Like uh, mm, for example, uh, the Night Lord card, uh, Pan Player Slaughter, gives plus two plus zero and terror uh, during your turn. Like they could could have given him something else, uh, maybe another passive effect uh, or. Uh, something like that but i don't know like uh, six energy seems a little bit too much from my um like maybe this is the nerf that i i wouldn't have done uh, unless it's absolutely necessary because this impacts a lot uh, the uh, energy curve for uh, for khan and then we have the solmon khan nerf uh, now the sisters of silence that he puts in your hand cost one less and not three less Again, this uh, uh, 
it's welcome because I think this card is maybe a little bit too good. Um, but uh, from three to one discount is uh, kind of a big margin. Um, like before, you could play Solomon Counter six, uh, uh, Raptor Guard turn seven. Maybe it was a little bit too much, uh, but now you are playing uh, Solomon Counter six and. Um, uh, the Raptor Guard at turn 9 like I don't know mm, I would have done maybe 2 and then she like eventually if it's still uh, uh, so obnoxious to play against maybe increase it to 3 but uh, uh, increase it to 1 um, the discount um, but I don't know like uh, I guess uh, I'm happy because I really don't like uh, playing uh, uh, versus Khan. I don't think I even had one game with him, even if I have it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think out like surely uh, Khan is taking a hit. Um, it's taking a hit, and I don't know if like surely it won't be I think top tier anymore. But maybe mostly because of the white tiger downers i think this is a little bit too much the other changes are okay um especially like uh, the target sacrifice because i think uh, six uh, five energy for uh like uh, remove everything uh, and uh, actually increase the size of uh, the enemy's deck uh it's kind of a big deal um but yeah the White Tiger Tao, I'm not sure about that one. And then we have nerf to Alpha Legion. Uh, since they did uh, pretty well in the last uh, um, portion of the... Um, in the last season, they are going to touch uh, uh, Alpharius mainly. Uh, like the thing that Alpharius play, but really it's uh, um, touching also Exodus. Even if he, Exodus is not going, going, uh, doing too good at the moment, but um, the first card they're going to touch uh, is the uh, Escalator Squad. It becomes a 4-3. Um, like, I guess it's still good, but uh, definitely uh, not as good as being a 4-4. Like, from 4-3 to 4-4 is kind of a big step forward, so... Uh, but you need the stun, so you're going to play it anyway. Uh, then, you, uh, then you have a big nerf to Ancient Inigo. I think uh, this card is good, but um, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah maybe uh, when you draw a card now, it gains plus one, plus one. And I think uh, it's okay. You're going still going to play two copies of this anyway, because uh, drawing a card and getting it plus one, plus one, which how much card draw you have is... Uh, um, like it's not even close. Uh, this card is the best fiber they have, except for the, the headhunter. Um, but yeah, cute nerf. Maybe it makes a little bit more easy to take it out uh, compared to before, where when uh, when it's your turn, like this is a five energy five eight. Um, so yeah, I think uh, it's a good nerf. I don't know, like, I don't think Alpha Legion is one of the, um, of the factions you need to touch. Like, uh, at the moment I think they are okay. Like, they're not crazy at all. So maybe, I don't know, you could also wait a little bit more. I, I think people are playing them mainly because they're funny. Yes, they're strong, but, uh, like, they're not uh, overpowered like Khan or the... Kalidus Assassin. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, Saboter Consul, now it's a 4 4. Shame because this card was the, um, uh, the card from the last event. I think it's still good. Like, you should still play this, I think. Uh, but oh, actually, I think uh, as a uh, five drop uh, the Kifax veterans are way underplayed um, but yeah this one like especially in uh, uh, Alpharius uh, um, can make the enemy very stuck with their hand 
and also you can play it a turn earlier. Um, as a 4 4, I don't know. Like, I would play the Kif of Veterans instead of them, uh, mainly because of the stat line and also the Kent attack is really good. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I guess they wanted to touch something, but uh, I, I really don't know about this. And uh, finally, the Vigitant Xerophos goes to, from a 6 4 to a 5 4. Uh, again, uh, okay, like still this is not the reason you are playing this card, so um, I guess it's fine, uh, I don't, I don't know, like uh, I think as a um, nurse they are okay, like it's nothing too crazy, um, but I don't know, I don't, I don't think they need to touch Alpha Legion, like I don't play them, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think that I ever had uh, any issue uh, playing versus them. Like, it's not they do some crazy, uh, impossible stuff, uh, like the uh, Kalidus Assassin, for example, or Jakatai Khan, or Savatar even. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, these are the nerfs. I don't think they are too much but uh, uh, surely it will hit uh, uh, their win they win like a little bit because they are taking out some damage like uh, uh, one damage from the saboteur console one damage from the vigitant serophos um, yeah you can kind of feel how much uh, uh, they're going to impact at uh, with the long run like uh, Maybe they will go down like 1%, 2% win rate, uh, but I don't think uh, anything more than that. Like, I think they are good uh, and they will still be good after the nerfs. Uh, not so sure about Jagatai Khan, and uh, also uh, Night Lords are taking a kind of a big hit, so um, I expect on honestly both Night Lords and uh, Khan to go way down in uh, win rate. I think Alpha Legion will still be good, like kind of same. Then we have a big change about neutral. Uh, we have a little buff to Arkham Land. Uh, now it discounts the vehicle uh, to one, uh, from one. Uh, and I guess it's okay. Um, mainly because like uh, like you are losing uh, energy to create resources. And, but you are not actually gaining any tempo back. I think uh, uh, ref uh, discounting by one, uh, it's going to be a good uh, way to improve him. Like uh, at the moment, you have no reason to play Arkham Land. Uh, you could just play Mirbin on Destructor. You could just play uh, by even uh, Raim or Proctor. Like uh, there is no actually no reason to play this guy except the fact that it's cool and you can play uh, with other faction vehicles uh, but uh, yeah kind of giving him uh, maybe you can go turn one uh, choose a vehicle turn two choose a vehicle and then turn three you put a five drop into play it's not bad like uh, you also have one energy to buff it or to play um, um, some other stuff or activating some ability like it's not bad but uh, uh, needed something to make it uh, a little bit uh, more playable i think and this is a good change um then we have uh, some changes to chaos uh lord of flies is going to two damage uh the ability the ability is going to do two, two damage and still puts in play a plague drone uh Welcome change. I think uh, two damage really push him a little bit higher. Uh, I would like to try him. And also, plague drones are not bad at all. Um, then we have um, Infernus Abomination. There's transmuted armaments uh, that he has uh, um, are now going from. Uh, uh, why there isn't the 
purple card okay uh, anyway it like it should be a purple card that uh, gives uh, uh, a choice between uh, uh, three armaments and uh, it n uh, normally it costs two now the cost decreased to one and i think like i don't know this guy is not bad at all like i don't know why they needed to buff it uh but yeah, okay, I guess we are seeing a little bit more uh, abominations into ranked. And, uh, but yeah, he's not bad at all. So I don't know why they buffed him, but anyway. Um, then we have uh, the Signus Adept, um, which is, uh, I have to search it, Signus. Okay, this one. Now let's you uh, choose the, the the cultist you put into play anyway this card is shit so i don't think you will ever see it played uh, the signus demagogue is also seeing a change now it puts the uh, signus acolyte directly into play uh, instead of your hand and this is actually a big thing like uh, it's completely different how it, how it works and uh, maybe i don't know like cultists uh, always struggle to make the cut i think uh, maybe because they are a little bit weak but this now putting things into play is not bad at all um then we have a change to um sork the legend the three mana legendary uh this one now the ability costs zero i think it's a good idea because nobody plays this guy so uh, maybe it's going to help him a little bit um, but also like Imperial Army card now are getting a nerf so uh, yeah you actually really need the the change because uh, I, I mean already it's kind of the worst uh, like toolbox legendary you can put in uh, Given that you're also nerfing its card pool, I think uh, it needs some kind of improvement. Um, then you have uh, a chain above to Athame. Um, now this costs one energy, and one energy heal two or uh, return a friendly loop is not bad. Uh, I don't still think it's going to make the cut in most decks, but. Uh, it's a welcome change like th this is a card uh, that uh, got changed a lot of times never actually worked and uh, still they're trying to make it work somehow and uh, i really like the discount from two to one um because uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, mm, more playable i guess like two energy for getting survivor two or returning a troop to your hand is kind of shit then we have hellspawn now it gives uh, a plus two plus two to a friendly demon or mark of chaos to non demon troop this sucks anyway so uh, not a big deal then we have uh, a cost decrease in corrupting influence going to four uh, from four to three energy and I think this is a welcome change, like uh, maybe we will see some play actually, because uh, two Mark of Chaos for uh, three energy is not a bad deal. And then you have uh, uh, the Eightfold Brand, uh, cost reduced from five to four, it's still uh, shit because uh, every uh, tempo loss tactics unless it's incredibly good uh, it's going to be always uh, uh, a bad idea to include in the deck and this uh, is actually really bad so like cultists are uh, i think the worst uh, out of the possible factions you can play and uh, getting random cultists like if you play eightfold brand and then you get like uh, signus disciple uh, cultist acolyte signus acolyte like wh what are you going to do with this that they are not impacting the game at, at all also because you have to spend energy in order to play them uh maybe they will make uh, a one of 
in uh, Corferon, but uh, I don't think Corferon needs more resources. So uh, yeah, like I would, I wouldn't play it. But anyway, then we have uh, uh, a nerf to the Kalidus Assassin. Uh, now the one of the war of their warlords, the uh, Elik Moller the guy that uh, discounts tactics uh, by one uh, and uh, puts in your hand like the, the ability is like uh, zero and does a remembrance order which is discard um, actually discounts only the first tactic you play instead of each one uh, I think it's a good change um, Moller is uh, embarrassing but this is not changing the fact that Kalidus Assassin is the best warlord in the game by any chance like uh, this card is uh, incredibly good and uh, it's incredibly easy to get a very good win rate even if you have, haven't uh, optimized deck um, I, I still think it's a welcome change but I, I guess they are trying to limit uh, her ability to um, continuously um, cycle through through her deck and so on um, but I guess uh, like this is not really the point like the point is that uh, uh, I think the, the card pool that she has access to is uh, way too good and uh, like uh, mm, it's hard because uh, like if you are nerfing the card pool you are actually making every uh, every other warlord uh, worse uh, but i don't know how to like also like why she has relentless seal one like this is a five cost card from custodies and she has it by default like this should should should, be, should get taken out immediately like it, this has no reason to be here um, it was uh, uh, included when she has she had 30 HP and that's okay but now she has 35 why uh, she keeps the relentless seal one uh, like if you uh, keep cap uh, like you keep getting bash to face uh, you're actually taking one less damage uh, than your opponent because uh, unless uh, he has, he is a three energy uh, a three attack uh, uh, warlord uh, like this is doesn't make any sense to me but anyway and then we have the uh, every uh, um, uh, how's it called the traitor auxilia are moving from imperium to chaos and uh, yeah that's pretty big um, so Lotara uh, Dupayne all the Ectonian uh, we have uh, 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 Urban Warfare is moving to Chaos um, uh, Voss Fighter is moving to Chaos uh, where is Voss Fighter? this card like uh, it's a pretty big stuff like uh, it's not uh, uh, like a couple of cards it's like an entire section of uh, imperial army is going to be slotted into chaos and uh, maybe it will not change anything but uh, like for like for example um um lotara or uh, uh baltazar is not going to change that much but actually impacts their with their win rate uh, because uh, they are now have access to uh, uh where is it quelling of hope which is not going to impact your board at all and this is amazing like this is maybe the best uh, uh, uh like for them that they, they, they don't have access to any good uh, mass removal uh, like this is amazing like doesn't even eat your warlord and uh, deals three to the enemy to the enemy board and you are not going to play uh like uh, anything that is not a traitor auxilia anyway and traitor auxilia now are all chaos um, so it's uh, i think a pretty big change and also like remember that urban warfare and boss fighter uh, 
well also fire at will but uh, doesn't matter uh, are going to be slotted into chaos so uh, actually ruin storm is getting a little bit of a buff because they lack uh, uh, anti-stealth and they lack uh, stun and jam and they're getting all of them into a couple of uh, uh, cards that they couldn't play before and it's a good thing because I love uh, uh, ruin storms and I would be I would like to play them but uh, yeah the only way they can play now is with the core bucks and the freaking uh, mission and I hate uh, Corbax and the mission like I honestly hate to play against him is uh, annoying uh, really really annoying uh, but maybe like uh, now that you have some stuns uh, and you have some anti-stealth maybe Kabanda will can uh, come back a little bit um, even if like Kabanda has other problems uh, really suffers from the card pool um, but uh, at least he's getting some love even if I don't think this was the intent of course but uh, um, still uh, like I don't like from a lore perspective it doesn't make any sense because these are Imperium troops anyway even if they are corrupted um, like they are not cultists they are still Imperial Army they work as Imperial Army uh, they are mm, like the 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 statum the hierarchy uh, of the army is still going to be kind of imperium they're not like cultists um but uh, yeah like i think uh, it's a very big patch um will impact the uh, wear rate of some warlords for sure i would then honestly be very intrigued to play uh dupain with uh, the quelling of hope um, because if there is a thing he lacks, is kind of uh, something that can uh, uh, mm, like uh, uh, swing the game back in his direction if he draws bad. And uh, dealing three damage to all the night board uh, is uh, kind of good for five energy, so uh, also to the enemy warlord. Um, so I would be intrigued to play him. Um, and from the other stuff, I think the nerf to Kalitus Assassin is not nearly enough. Um, but I wouldn't... Like, I don't know how I, how I would change her. But surely giving her 30 HP and not 35 can help. Um, and, uh, yeah, surely White Scars are, are taking a big hit. Uh, Alpha Legion, I don't think so much. Uh, and Night Lords are taking a big hit. Um, yeah then uh, i think uh, that is it we will see uh, eventually if there are a little bit more changes coming out if they are i'm going to make uh, um, a second video about it uh, with the actual patch note uh, but i really wanted to talk about it uh, uh, as soon as possible because uh, um, like when I, I saw Trotor Ziliar moving to Chaos, I was like, what? Uh, that that was uh, um, caught me by surprise. And uh, like, uh, it's kind of uh, interesting that they are still keeping uh, things uh, this hot after so many years. Um, uh, so yeah, like uh, we will see each, uh, if, they, if, if we need to make a second video, of if this is enough. Um, but I think the changes are good. Uh, maybe something is a little bit too much, uh, like for example the changes to Jagatai Khan uh, carpool, uh, and maybe I don't know even Night Lords. Like I guess they are strong, but uh, like uh, I don't think they are broken. Um, I think I still think that Kalidus Assassin needs some tune because it's too good. Uh, Anyway, that's, uh, that was the patch note, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, and see you guys next time.